Namaste. Coming Thursday, the 10th of June 2021 is a very auspicious day. This day is Shani Jayanti, the birthday of Lord Sat. In this particular video, I am going to give you a few miraculous remedies to alleviate the sufferings caused by Sat. Um, of course, Satan causes a whole lot of sufferings being the significator of the suffering itself, right? Jayanti is a day when we celebrate the birthday of someone. Shani Jayanti is the birthday of Satan. There are three things, three stories that are attached to the birth of Satan. Or rather say to the childhood of Satan. The first thing is that once Saturn wanted to meet Shiva, but Shiva was not wishing to meet him. And then there goes a long story like, you know, someone say that Shiva was being afraid of coming under the sight of Saturn, whereas someone says that Shiva was testing Saturn, whatever be the case. It is traditionally taken that Shiva is the guru of Saturn. So, if Saturn is connected to your ninth house of guru, preceptor, or the fifth house of student, or the third house of guru, Gudesha, you should worship Shiva to alleviate the suffering of Saturn. And you can do this by doing Sunni Mirtyunjaya Stotra. Mirtyunjaya is the name of Shiva, and Sunni Mirtyunjaya Stotra is a Beautiful confluence of Shiva and Saturn. Sunni Mirtinjas Tutra can also be done by those people who are suffering from the bad transit of Saturn, known as Sade Sati, when the Saturn is in the 12th house, the same house, or the second house from Moon, or Kantaksani, when the Saturn is in 4th house from Natal Moon, or Shani Daya when the Saturn is in the 8th house from the middle. These positions from the Ascendant, respectively the 12th house, the Ascendant house, the 2nd house, the 4th house, and the 8th house. The transit of Saturn in these houses from the Ascendant is also quite detrimental, problematic. It is issues in life. But before predicting any of these things, don't forget to check the Ashtabharata of Saturn, Ascendant, and Moon respectively for the case. How to analyze a planetary transit some other day? The Sunni Mirtinja Stotra is also a very powerful remedy if you are going through a bad Saturn transit, a bad Dashantra Dasha of transit. Sorry, if you are going through a bad Saturn Dashantra Dasha, or if you are going through a bad Saturn transit, then also Sunni Mirtinja Stotra is one of the very miraculous remedy. Right? If you cannot do Shani Mirtinja Stotra because it's quite a long Stotra, in that scenario, I will recommend you doing Panchakshari Namah Shivaya Mantra to alleviate the suffering of Saturn. And specifically, you know, you can do the remedies in two ways. First, you can start, you can take a sankalpa that to alleviate the suffering of Saturn, I will do this much mantra japa or this much stotra japa per day for one year, six months, four months, whatever you take. And you start from the Sunny Jayanti, that is the 10th of June 2021. Or if you cannot do it every day, every day, then you can just on the 10th June 2021 around evening at the time of sunset. Remember, Saturn becomes strong in the night time, not in the daytime. So around the evening on 10th June 2021, you take a sankalpa, you take a pledge that I'm going to do this particular mantra for so and so times, say 100 times, 1000 times or going to do so and so stotra for say 10 times, 12 times, 21 times, 27 times, 51 times, whatever. And taking a pledge, you do this. And when you take the pledge, clearly mark it that I am doing this to alleviate this, this and this suffering that I think is caused by Saturn. And do that particular remedy. This way, it will be more beneficial to you. It will be more better for you to go this particular way. Along with this, Hanuman, 
Lord Hanuman. When Satan was being hanged in the jail of Ravan, it was Hanuman who freed Satan, who relieved Satan, who helped Satan come out of the jail of Ravan. So that day, Satan told to Lord Hanuman that whoever will worship you, I will never trouble that person. If you want to, you know, worshipping Shiva is the way to getting knowledge from Satan. Worshipping Shiva is to make Satan your brother. Because if you, Shiva is the Adi Guru, Shiva is the Guru of the whole world and if you worship Shiva, you take him as your Guru. And uh, because Saturn also takes Shiva as his guru, and you also take Shiva as your guru, Saturn actually becomes your guru bhata, guru bhai. Right? So this worship of Shiva for Saturn, only Libra, Taurus, Aquarius, Capricorn, Gemini, or Virgo ascendant people should do. For people belonging to other ascendants, making Saturn as your uh, friend or brother is not a very good uh, thing to do because Saturn is not lord in good houses in your horoscope. Right. So in that scenario, to alleviate the suffering, to alleviate the problems, to alleviate the miseries of Saturn, you should be under the discipleship of Lord Hanuman. Of course, like Shiv, Lord Hanuman can also be taken as a guru by any anyone. So, you know, if you are struggling finding a guru, if you are struggling finding a preceptor, if you are struggling finding a way out, remember that there is no option, there is no substitute for having a real living guru because, you know, the real living guru can talk to you. He can guide you. You can talk to him anytime. You can discuss your problems with him that you cannot do with Hanuman or you cannot do with Shiva. But still, but still, to those unfortunate people who are not able to find a guru in real life, they can take Hanuman or Shiva as their guru. Specifically for those ascendant people who don't have Saturn as a good planet. Generally, people belonging to Aries ascendant, Scorpio ascendant, Pisces ascendant, Sagittarius ascendant, Leo ascendant, or Cancer ascendant. For them, Saturn is not a lot of good houses. So they cannot do the Shiv remedy as I just told. Right. So these people should do the Hanuman remedy. Because Hanuman is being signified by Mars in astrology. Of course, these people uh, being born in or having their moon in Leo, Cancer, Aries, Scorpio, Sagittarius, or Pisces will have Mars as a lord of a good house, right? So in that scenario, they should worship Hanuman. And uh, worshiping Hanuman, you can do a mantra for Hanuman. I will tell you the simplest mantra for Hanuman is to chant the name of Ram. Right. That is one of the you know easiest hack that I can give you in spirituality. You want to make Shiva, make Shiv happy, go to a Shiv temple and take the name of Ram. Because Shiv tells Parvati, you know, Parvati once asks Shiv that you know everyone meditates on you, the whole world learns meditation from you, but you meditate on whom? And Shiv uh, told Parvati that I meditate on Ram. So when you go to a Shiv temple and take the name of Ram, Shiv opens his eyes to look at you. That who is this person who is taking the name of the one whom I am worshipping? Right. So another hack is to go to the temple of Hanuman and take the name of Ram. Because Hanuman have Ram in his heart always. The life of Hanuman is dedicated to Ram. Right. So if you want to make Hanuman happy, you should do Jai Sri Ram or Om Ram Ramayana or you can also chant some stotra of Ram. Right? Specifically, Ram Raksha Stotram is a very good chant to protect yourself from any type of problem in life, specifically those people who are not initiated into Tantra or those people who don't believe in Tantra or specifically for Vaishnav people to come out of black magic or any kind of suffering, any kind of kritya, any kind of you know, negativity, bad thought, uh, you know, and uh, 
bad applications any kind of tantric abhichar to come out of these things for normal people ram raksha stotram is the ultimate remedy that can be done ram raksha stotram makes sure that you are always protected by ram and hanuman right so doing ram raksha stotram or taking the ram naam or doing om ram ram ay namaha this particular mantra is very good to please hanuman specifically if you want to please hanuman directly you know like worshiping rama is a shortcut to please hanuman but if you want to go the long cut and directly want to worship hanuman then then om anjani sudaya namaha this particular mantra om vayu putraya namaha this mantra om rudra rupaye maruti nandanaya namaha these three mantras can be done and all of these three mantras are focused on a particular aspect of hanuman which if you do after taking a pledge on the day of sani jayanti that is 10th june 2021 or from 10th june 2021 or from shani amavasya then i am pretty sure that only in 40 50 days it will create miracles in your life but if it does don't forget to give me a feedback and if it is not able to do a miracle in your life then you are not doing the right remedy in that particular scenario to get a consultation right along with this hanuman badwanal stotram doing hanuman chalisa continuously for 100 days are other two remedies to get the blessings of hanuman and save yourself from the grief misery and humiliation caused by sad hanuman chalisa and you know reading hanuman chalisa for 100 days continuously without break is a very strong remedy because in hanuman chalisa itself it is written that jo satvar baat kar koi chhut hi bundi maha sun koi that literally means that whoever reads hanuman chalisa 100 times he gets free from all the kind of bondage and he gets the ultimate happiness he gets the supreme happiness in life right so if you can chant hanuman chalisa over 100 days one part per day then it is good if you can chant hanuman chalisa in 10 days 100 times in 10 days that is 10 recitations per day then it is even better if you can chant hanuman chalisa 100 times in the same day then it is even more better but please take pledge keeping everything in mind if you take a pledge and if you are not able to complete it then it creates unwanted sufferings in your life and then to find the remedy of broken pledge find the remedy of you know a pledge which was not fulfilled is quite problematic and in that particular scenario there will be more sufferings than good results in life right so these are two particular remedies that i will want to share with you based on your ascendant for the 10th of june 2021 that's the sunny jayanti day along with this if you really want like you know if, if you want to pacify that or if you want to make sure that you always get favors from saturn right now the first two remedies are for the pacification of saturn to make saturn happy to you know to just uh, you know save yourself from the bad aspect of saturn but what about making saturn your wellisher what about getting good results from saturn so if you want to take good results from saturn i will tell you two remedies particularly remedy number one is to light a oil diya every day that will be good or every saturday that will be good right so lighting it every day is very good lighting it only on saturdays is also good right so you start doing it from sunny jayanti the 10th of june 2021 right and then continue it doing every saturday so once you do it on 10th then you do it on 12th of june 2021 that is a, that is the first saturday from 12th of june 2021 continue doing it every saturday and if you are really in a big mess big trouble and 
urgently want the help of sand and then in that scenario you should be doing it every day lighting a oil the yeah, lighting a oil lamp below people tree right people tree is the you know people tree is the home of many gods people tree is considered very sacred and it also makes saturn quite happy so lighting a oil you can take any oil ccm seed til oil any oil you can take right ccm seed oil is better til oil is also good any other oil you can also take even the coconut oil can be taken by the way and uh, for particularly those cases you know for females the coconut oil lamp is quite uh, strong quite powerful you know so females will get extremely benefited if they you know light the coconut oil lamp by the way so there is some secret procedure uh, before that also that i am not wishing to tell right now only once once again to our topic right so if you light a oil lamp below people tree every saturday or every day that will serve as a very good remedy for saturn to get help from saturn to get support from saturn to make saturn beneficial beneficial for you beneficial for your chart specifically even specifically if you want to make this remedy even more powerful then make the lamp of float ata right so like if we make chapatis take float take ata give it the shape of a diya give it the shape of a lamp and then put oil in, inside it and then light it that will be even more stronger remedy strong even more stronger version of the same remedy right that is one remedy to make saturn your good friend along with this another remedy there is a very strong remedy and if you you know if you do it if you do it then you know you are sure to get uh, some realizations on the way as well right so this is not only a material remedy to get the beneficial results of saturn also but this is also a remedy which opens the you know spiritual channels in your life it is also a remedy which you know cuts your karma it is also a remedy that gives you freedom from bondage it is also a remedy that uplifts your mental strata that is to donate money to people suffering from leprosy suffering from loss of limbs and people suffering from diseases such as tb etc if you can find a person like this go give him some donation if you are not able to find a person like this then you can uh, search for an ngo who serves such people you know people who have lost their limbs people suffering from uh, diseases such as leprosy or people uh, suffering from you know other diseases which are hereditary and which have no cure especially leprosy and people who have lost their limbs this to be if you can donate them or if you can donate to an ngo which helps such people that will be a very very strong remedy to make saturn your friend and along with making saturn your friend it will also open the spiritual path for you it will also be a very good way for your spiritual upliftment your uh, every type of upliftment really and uh, you know it will open the spiritual way and moreover this this is a remedy that actually cuts your karma that actually cuts the burden of the karma that actually relieves you from the burden of the karma right so that is a uh, one more remedy for the saturn saturn is a darling of uh, many astrologers by the way and saturn when beneficial can make you a king and saturn when malefic makes you go from door to door without getting an idea of what should be done next so saturn when angry on you make you wander aimless wander whereas saturn when happy makes you a king makes you a person who sits at his place and people come to offer him everything this is what saturn does this is this is 
how saturn works right if saturn is good you will be sitting at your home and people will come to you and will tell take all of my books take all of my knowledge take all of my money take all of my power that right? you will automatically people will automatically come to you and want to sacrifice their things to you and saturn is good whereas where saturn uh, whereas on the other hand when saturn is bad then you will have to go to you know go to places to places people to people asking for help asking for idea and there will be no one to help you right and i will tell you three things more about saturn you know first of all if you really want to get good results of saturn never ever treat bad with your servants if you treat bad with your servants you will have very bad results of saturn you know i know a case of a child a very big you know very quite an influential person i know about this child and you know his child is quite in his 50s now have lost everything in life why because he used to slap he used to physically beat his servants you know so if you want to have good results of your saturn always do good with your servants even if they are bad to you you know if your servants have you know stole something from you if your servant is lying to you if your servant is not being faithful to you make a note that saturn is not testing you right and make sure not to behave bad with them make sure to be good with them then saturn will bless you otherwise if you behave badly with your servants if you behave badly with your subordinates if you behave badly to those people who are not in power in front of you in that particular scenario saturn is never going to be happy on you no matter how much rapid you do that's the first thing to say the second thing that i will tell you about saturn is you know about it is it is related to shoes if you want good results of saturn never wear a shoe that is dirty even if your shoes are bright enough to see the face still before wearing them clean them never wear untidy shoes if you want your saturn to be good always clean your shoe before wearing it as a remedy to saturn and if you are really suffering very hard by the placement of the saturn in the 12th house by the placement of the saturn in the 10th house by the placement of the saturn in the 6th house or by the placement of the saturn in the 3rd house in that scenario donate shoes to children and to needy people and third thing i tell you many people go to saturn temple and light the lamp when you go to saturn temple you will find a people tree in the temple and you will find the idol of saturn in the temple never ever light the lamp never ever light the diya in front of the saturn idol always light it in front of the people tree saturn is inimical towards the fiery planets sun and mars so don't light the diya don't light the lamp in front of the saturn sila or in front of the idol of saturn but always light the lamp below the people tree in the saturn make a note of these points the remedy is told start doing it from the 10th of this month 10th of uh, june 2021 right i think that i have clearly explained everything that needs to be done if there is something left you can ask for a clarification in the comment section of the video right best of luck for your life may you prosper day by day thank you